Happy New Year, everybody, and I hope we're all going to have a very peaceful, healthy, and prosperous New Year. So I'm going to be taking off this uh, cute face mask that I got from China, okay? China. And we're going to talk about a lot of issues as well. But uh, on this video, I'm simply going to talk about Mr. Beast, the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, YouTubers on Earth. Okay, he's one of the biggest YouTubers on this planet and he's got a big heart. And uh, earlier today I was just watching his latest and most viewed and trending uh, video, which is this YouTube Rewind 2020. Thank God it's over and I tell you, everybody on this planet would like to get rid of 2020 and we're done with it. And the Filipinos were able to celebrate the ending or the passing of this year 2020 the year of coronavirus the wuhan virus the yeah wuhan virus because that's how the american liberal media called it before donald trump called it kung flu <laughs> and got attacked for that for it you know by the same liberal media that called you know this virus wuhan coronavirus by probably feb or march last years so we're freaking done with 2020 and we're gonna be starting with a new year but as we all know it's still gonna be the same thing in the philippines i'm from the philippines for those who don't know i'm from the philippines and for those wondering why the hell i'm talking about mr beast you know i'm a fan okay i'm a fan who doesn't like and love this youtuber okay but in the philippines in manila we're gonna start again with another gcq so i'm actually wondering i was wondering over the past days are we still gonna have curfews you know curfew in metro manila because i live in metro manila and i hope that we're not we're not gonna have another round of curfew so i think uh, uh over the past I think months since we had a lockdown in uh march last year for the past or for the next months after March, we have we've had like you know very very strict lockdown in which we had this 8 p.m. curfew. So this month of January of 2021, the government, the Philippine government, is going to implement another GCQ. So it's different from the ECQ or th this strict lockdown. Uh, GCQ is simply going to be general. Uh, community quarantine so i don't know if there's going to be another round of lockdown or if there's going to be a strict curfew i hope we can simply start with a new life and let herd immunity take its course i believe in herd uh, immunity for those who don't know her herd immunity is a situation in which a, a large percentage of the population is gonna start being immune to the virus or any disease okay herd immunity takes place in reality it's a scientific fact so there's gonna be a time in which we're gonna be immune to the virus after a large percentage of the of the population um, acquired the virus and suddenly become become immune to it so that happened to zika virus in brazil according to my research or according to studies in which after a large part of the population of that country were infected by the virus they started to become immune to the virus the zika virus and uh, we call it herd immunity we've had viruses in the past diseases the uh, black plague of course uh, there are two factors in which we're gonna achieve what we call herd immunity one is the immune system our ability to to fight off viruses and any kinds of diseases and the second one is technology which is vaccine so the availability of technology that we have today and thanks to donald trump because of his policies that really cut red tape and that's the reason why they were able to produce vaccine within a very short span of time so before when we had h1n1 and uh, other viruses it took years three to five years for these pharmaceutical companies to come up with the solution to this 
problems, these health issues that we have today, but because of Donald Trump's determination to cut red tape. So, you know, deregulation, they, he deregulated, he cut all these regulations in order to um, allow and encourage these companies, these private companies and pharmaceutical companies to do their own research. President Trump also implemented or encouraged the implementation and then passing of the right to try law okay the right to try is very very much beneficial to uh sick people especially those cancer patients those having very very fatal medical conditions and diseases because they were able they were uh, they're being allowed by law now to have the right to try okay to undergo testing cl clinical trials and to submit their, themselves for some kind of experimentation, but it should be safe uh, by these pharmaceutical companies. So, too much ado about all these, you know, uh, trials that we've had over the past year of 2020. And um, I'm just hoping that we're going to have not just prosperous, but healthy, peaceful, and uh, some kind of non 2020 year of 2021. So, all right. So, why the hell I. I started with this uh, video of Mr. Beast. So as you can see, um, Mr. Beast is one of the biggest, if not the biggest YouTuber on the planet because he's got a big heart and et cetera. So he's giving a lot of money. So I'm actually a subscriber, a fan of this guy. And don't, do you know, by the way, just kind of some kind of fun fact or trivia that Mr. Beast is just 22 years old. But if you're going to look at him, you're going to look at his face, he looks like he's like 35 <laughs> years old. You know, no offense, but that's actually what I thought, you know, before Googling his his name on Google. You know, Googling his name on Google. <laughs> what a repetition or redundant, uh, you know, statement. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, look at that. I'm looking at him right now. You know, he's from North Carolina, a Trump nation. And as you can see, based on what I've been saying over the past, you know, minutes, I'm a Trump fan, and I'm a Trump fan, an Asian Trump fan. You know, he looks like he's like 30-ish or 40-ish, and he doesn't look like he's 22 years old, just barely done with being a teenager. So definitely, as you can see, and his the fact that he's got beard and you know all these facial hairs. He reminds me of Ben Shapiro because he kept flashing the face or, or videos of Ben Shapiro's and very, 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 very uh, fast snippets or video snippets on this particular vlog. So, uh, all right. So what the hell is this rewind all about? So he said he was encouraged by uh, PewDiePie, uh, his idol. All right. So as you can see, um, let's start with his opening. Okay. Um there you go. What's up, YouTube? I think we can all agree that 2020 might be the only thing in existence worse than 2018 Rewind. Yeah. You're right. Because of the global pandemic, thousands of creators just couldn't make videos. It was brutal, and I can't blame YouTube for not wanting to make a Rewind. But a lot of good things no, I didn't know did about happen that. this year. And let's be that honest, YouTube it just wouldn't be make YouTube a rewind. if we didn't have a Rewind to make fun of. So. Enjoy. Notice it's still gonna be PewDiePie, PewDiePie, and I've I've seen the face of Ben Shapiro. For those who don't know, who are not into politics, I'm really much into politics. Ben Shapiro is uh, one of the most popular uh, conservative commentators in the United States. He's a podcaster. He's got like millions, or one of the number top 10 podcast, uh, podcasters in the United States. So please don't mind my accent. All right, so, okay. So these are the biggest YouTubers on the planet. Yeah. What the hell? So the Biden and, and Trump, so considering that North Carolina, where Mr. Beast lives, he's from North Carolina, okay? I think in Raleigh, not Carolina. It's a Trump, you know, state. It's a Trump nation. He, Trump won that state. 
And I hope that by, you know, January 6th, uh, Trump is still going to be the president of the United States because that's the day, January 6th, is going to be the final day in which Congress or the representatives of the people are going to certify the votes of each state. So, a uh, fun fact for all those, including the Americans, Americans who don't know anything about their own politics, okay? Like I said, I'm into politics. I know politics in the United States more than any regular American knows, okay, compared to any regular American. And, uh, you know, fun fact, the real election of the U.S. president is going to be on January 6th, okay, not on November 3rd, not on December 14, in which the dueling electors, okay, from the seven states, I think uh, uh, Georgia, uh, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Arizona, including New Mexico, I think, and the other two states, what are the other two? I forgot, okay, um, Michigan, North Carolina, uh, no, not North Carolina, but some other two states or additional two states, they, you know, sent their own electors both from both parties, the Republican and Democrat parties. So th they call it dueling electors or dueling electors or competing electors. So on January 6th, that's when, you know, Vice President Mike Pence is going to check if there's going to be merit um, on or if the Trump electors actually are telling the truth that he actually win or won the election in in November on November third. So, all right, get getting back to the Mr. video. Beast, right? Yeah, I was waiting for Mr. Beast. Oh, I've no. always thought that YouTubers Dude, should get rewind. more say in Rewind, which is why I called hundreds of YouTubers and asked them what they think should be in Rewind. What do you want in YouTube Rewind? What do I want in YouTube Rewind? Minecraft. This year was a big year Minecraft. for Minecraft. <laughs> I love you. Mine I would put the Minecraft. Way. The resurgence of Minecraft? Minecraft. You stupid chicken! I deleted a channel of mine. Penis Thomas. The copy dance me. It's too soon, Hikaru. Valkyrie! Thank you so much for the support. So many amazing games came out this year. Woo! <laughs> choosing to just be doing one kick play. I actually really like this person. Dream. 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 The Dream SMP? I have a strange feeling that Dream will be left out of YouTube Rewind. What Dreams are doing is crazy. Or not, enough oh, with all of this. So basically, I'm actually here just to show you this, okay? This is the Mr. Beast effect, okay? The Mr. Beast effect. So what happens if Mr. Beast is gonna promote your channel, or is gonna is gonna shout out, you know, your channel, for example? What's gonna happen? So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen next. Okay. So all right. What you currently see on your screen is every single channel that hit 10 million subscribers in 2020. Not gonna lie, it's actually more than I thought it was. Really? And what you see on your screen now is every single channel that hit 1 million subscribers in 2020. Holy crap! My editor didn't feel like Six typing them all out, so here's just a video of me scrolling through the Excel YouTubers. sheet. Each one of these names represents someone that hits a million subscribers in just 2020. Now to wrap things up, I have a fishbowl full of random small channels. I'm going this to draw a channel This is what like I'm this. waiting for, so I'm gonna do it draw lots and pick three YouTubers. Very, very small YouTubers. So I, I have two channels, by the way, one of which has less than 10,000 subscribers already which is pretty small and this one this channel so my first channel has mostly american and uh, western subscribers okay it has you know that channel has few thousand subscribers and this one the channel that i'm keeping right now is just focus on filipino and asian lifestyle uh culture politics etc global politics so you know, let's see what's gonna happen to these three lucky channels that actually won the lottery, the you know, the what we call Mr. Beast Effect Lottery. So let's see. Give them a plug. So Amelia and Birdie, shout out to you. You will be linked in description below. Amelia and Birdie. 
and let's see. I want to say that I tried my best to cover the international scene, but to be honest, I only know how to speak English. So it's kind of hard for me to include you guys, but uh, shout out to, how do you say this, Soyan Osman? Soyan Osman with 241 subscribers. Shout out to you. 241 subscribers, subscribers. I want to also 13 hours shout out to ago. PewDiePie. My rewind was heavily inspired by his rewind that he did in years past. And I even used the same editor as he did. Felix, I love you. Thank you so much for the inspiration. If you're not already subscribed to him, you probably already are. And our final shout out of the rewind. Nalter Deeds with 1400. Nalter Deeds had 1400 subscribers. So let's see what happened to this channel. So I'd, I actually made you know, a search already. And right now, as we speak, they have seven, well, Soyan Osman, which is, I think, from Germany because I watch his latest video, his you know, uh, reaction <laughs> earlier. And he got like 79,000. And 600 and counting subscribers so that's what we call the mr beast effect. this is not so, just some numbers. so look at his reaction he's very what grateful he's kind of shocked and if that's gonna happen to me i wouldn't know what would hit me all right so let's just look at you know how his channel is performing on social blade social blade is where you can check you know the statistics of any channel any uh, account social media account including twitter i think so as you can see this guy soyan osman had like 241 subscribers but as you can see uh yesterday oh yeah thursday yesterday he only had like three additional subscribers but look at what happened after mr beast promoted his channel you know he got you know six to four thousand in four hundred subscribers and counting subscribers so the live count if we're gonna check on you know on the live count so it's now running seventy seven thousand seven hundred <laughs> seventy one thousand seven hundred and then now it's eighty one thousand 800 that's i'm bad at math so that's a few thousand addition to what he had a few seconds ago so look we're gonna look at uh, another channel which is amelia and Brady. so amelia and Brady, that's a channel and uh, if we're gonna check again so yesterday again they only had like two additional subscribers but today after the shout out from Mr. Beast, they immediately had instantly 84,500. That's like, you know, way more than subscribers. I, it's, they're probably getting um, a few thousand times subscribers that, than I get in just one second. So if we're going to check on the live count, of course, oh my God, it's 100,000 subscribers in just a few hours. So if we're going to check, Mr. Beast just posted his uh, latest rewind video 13 hours ago, literally 13 hours ago. And now they have 105,000 subscribers. And last but not least, Nalter Deeds um, had just like yesterday. Oh, well, he didn't have any <laughs> additional subscriber. You know, his subscription stuck at. 1400 plus over the past month not months but you know the month of december but immediately he got like 67000 and counting subscribers so that's a lot that's definitely a youtube gold if you're going to get a shout out from mr peace guarantee that you're going to become a youtube success so right now he's is have or he's having Oh, from 80,000 to 83,800. So that's like 3,000 more additional subscriber to their channel. So <laughs> unbelievable. What's going to happen to you if you're going to get a shout out from Mr. Beast? All right, so I'm going to end this video. Uh, the Mr. Beast effect is definitely a real thing. It's worth than, more than any kind of promotion that you're going to get from any company on this planet. So imagine having one guy that's going to make a shout out of your channel so and uh 
you'll be expecting tons and tons of subscribers after that and before ending this video i just hope that we're not just gonna have a prosperous but also peaceful and healthy year of 2021 so if you're watching this video i hope that you're gonna subscribe comment like and share as well and this is again an uncensored asian vlog and have a good one to all of you